as anyone who watches this channel could probably tell you, uh, I'm pretty much the expert on everything that I talk about uh, or play on this channel. Um, so today I figured I would do a definitive tier list for everybody at home for the Fall Guys game modes. Uh, there's a little bit of controversy surrounding these, so I figured I would just clear the air for everybody uh, and inform you on which shit sucks and which doesn't. Uh, now starting right off the bat, you can see that I put the tail tag uh, thing in, and I bet you'll know what that's for. These dysfunctional piles of shit. Uh, where's the last one? Where are you? Uh, I don't fucking see it. Alright, whatever, we'll get to... Oh, no, there it is, Royal Fumble. Uh, th these all suck. They're not very fun to play. They don't work very well. Anytime you'll try to grab somebody's tail, it won't quite work. And then, you know, whenever somebody else will grab yours, they'll grab it from like a mile away. And they'll be on the other side of the planet. And you'll never fucking see them. And you don't stand a chance of getting it back. Um, which I, I figured out the reasoning why. It's the same reason spectator cams are glitched. It's because everybody's connection is, is a little bit different. And the servers don't try to adjust for that, uh, unfortunately. So... It's pretty much always going to be like that. Up next, uh, as you'll see right here, we've got the sh a shit tier game as well. Egg Scramble. Fucking terrible. Uh, not very fun at all. One team will just get beat up on. And it's all about collecting those eggs, but it never fucking works. You're just getting, like, grabbed for, you know, however long it lasts, which is way too long before it finally mercifully ends. Uh, up next is Gate Crash. A solid C tier. Some people are pretty bad at this one. I don't really know how. Uh, it's a pretty simple pattern that you'll get the hang of. And then the jump at the end can be a little bit fucky. Uh, but that one, that's the most fun part for sure. Up next is Fall Ball Suck or whatever you want to call it. Masterclass game. Uh, <laughs> even though it's very annoying to get most of the time. Uh, and it, it, <clears throat> it fucking sucks. It's one of those that you need to put an A tier I've, it just feels right. I don't know why. Uh, up next is Fall Mountain. Uh, th probably the worst of the real finals, not counting this piece of shit. Um, it, it, it's just a okay experience. It's where the whole crown meme comes from, uh, like grab the crown or whatever. Uh, so it gets some extra points for that, but it, it really doesn't do as well as a lot of the other ones. Slime Climb, up next, great game mode, really good. Uh, it's the toughest, in my opinion, to actually do fully. Um, not a lot of people make it past this one. It's always nice. You'll be in like the top 10 if you ever make it past this one. Um, and it's always just funny to see how people die when you're spectating them. Fruit Shoot, up next, terrible game mode, sorry. Uh, it's not very fun to play. You'll just get molested by fruit until the you know bell finally rings and uh you'll either finish first on this one and never get hit by anything or you'll still be on the starting platform when it's end when, when it ends and there's almost no in between up next is the hit parade solid enough c tier it's a race round at the start and it does its job but it's not greatly exciting but it definitely is okay enough Hexagon is up next. I think pretty much everybody knows where that's going. S tier, easily. Uh, I don't really understand how you could disagree with that. It is basically the best game mode in this entire thing. It is the most skilled, uh, if there even are skilled game modes in this. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. It, they designed it really well. Uh, Hoarders is up next, pretty similar to Egg Scramble, so it, it, it also goes in F tier. It, it's terrible. It's not fun to play at all. Um, I, I fucking hate it. It's just so annoying to constantly not know what the hell's going on, and especially when you've got teammates who are just pushing it in every direction and they don't fucking know what the objective is, or at least it seems like it. It doesn't end up being very fun most of the time. Block Party, B tier, okay. It's okay. That's all there is to say about it. Um, it. It's a pretty solid elimination thing. You know, see how many people get killed. See if you can make it. Um, usually most people survive, but every once in a while it can offer a, a challenge. And uh, I, I appreciate it for that. 
but it's definitely not in the better tiers. DoorDash, D tier, very barely a D tier. It's not very fun. It's completely random. Uh, you can be right at the front, and then right at the end, you'll pick the wrong door, and you'll be out, basically, uh, unless you can weasel your way back in. And it's it, I, that's basically it. It's not good. Not fun. Uh, up next, we got Hoopsie Daisy. This one's kind of a strange one. I'll give it C for now. Um, I enjoy playing it, and... I think it does a solid enough job uh, for what it is, a team game. Team games aren't very good in general, uh, unfortunately. But I think it's a pretty good team game, one of the better ones. Uh, so it gets a C tier. Jinxed, pretty much the same. My uh, feelings on it, C tier. It's very weird and uh, gets hectic at the end. But definitely is good enough and i like how it actually eliminates people a lot of these modes don't feel like they're eliminating enough people and jinx consistently will take 20 out of the game uh which is very very nice up next is the jump club it's a fantastic game mode it's super fun um and also not too difficult but definitely can be a little bit challenging it, it's it's everything you want out of a game mode in this and it, it deserves its a Jump Showdown, same thing, basically, just a final version. Some of the platforms will fall out. There's two things on the bottom. It's a little bit more challenging, uh, but it doesn't really make it much more fun. In my opinion, Jump Club's actually better, but they're both definitely A-tier games. Perfect Match, completely useless, goes in the F-tier. Um, it just doesn't do anything. There's no good reason for it to exist, um, and it's, it's pretty boring while you are playing it. I never really have fun quote-unquote, with Perfect Match. It, it's kind of fun to fuck over your friends, though. Like, tell them, oh, here's one of them, and then dive off of it at the last second and watch them die. But other than that, not a lot of redeeming qualities. Rock and Roll, I'll give it a C for personal reasons, because I've got friends who are really good at uh, playing defense, which is the most annoying part of it, actually, is how people just run right to the end and wait for your ball to come down, and one person can stop an entire team um, if they're decent ish at defending so a lot of these at the time rock and roll go on for way too long because the last two teams are just sitting there fighting each other uh and getting nowhere while the other team is just sitting and watching um which is unfortunate rollout is up next it's gonna get i don't know i'll give it b for now it, it's like b minus c plus really uh it isn't great. Uh, it's one of the worst elimination style ones, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't even get close to Jump Club and Block Party. But it's still not bad. And even though it takes forever sometimes, uh, it can be a little bit of fun. Especially once you get later on and uh, it, it gets a little bit more tense. People get Everybody gets a little bit more tense and you'll start seeing some risky maneuvers. Uh, Dizzy Heights, I'm gonna go with C tier on that one as well, uh, it's a good enough race around, it, it, all of those are pretty much C for the most part, because they do their job, they get people out at the start, but they're not, you know, the more exciting ones that come later, but they also can't fuck up like some of the ones that come later, uh, they're just solid first rounds, except for this fucker, get in D tier, you suck, um, you either are front running and have no issue at all, and it's boring for that reason, or you're stuck somewhere in the middle or back where you've got a bunch of idiots around you who don't know what the hell they're supposed to do and have never seen a seesaw or a platform that balances like that in their entire life. Uh, I honestly don't know what the fuck happens to these people's brains when they go on the seesaw. It's awful. Um, but yeah, it gets a D tier. It's not very fun. I, I And that comes from somebody who gets past it 95% of the time. It's not very fun. Tiptoes up next. D tier. Maybe controversial, but I think it's a pretty bad one overall. You, you kind of just follow the crowd and wait and see what happens. Um, and then just go for it at the end. And it's boring. It sucks. And you can either be actually doing something... And you'll most likely lose because you would have been taking risks. 
or you can just do nothing, sit in the middle, and you'll qualify handily. It sucks. Whirly gig, kind of a boring one to end off on. C tier, not great, not bad. Uh, fits right in the middle quite nicely. Don't have any real problems with it. The ending could be a little bit annoying, but it's pretty solid overall. Uh, tell me what you guys thought of this list in the comments. Uh, obviously, this is the uh, correct list, but if you guys think you've got anything to say, say it, and I might even change my opinion. I'll say in the comments if I, uh, if one of you makes me change my opinion on something. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.